How's it going, everybody? ISU Reaper 31 here, bringing you more Pez 17 Master League here with Venencia here in year number two. So the last episode did not go according to plan. We got knocked down in the first round of the Copa Italia this year uh, to the underdog team, Pisa. And uh, the media is definitely getting on Erickson's back after that poor performance. Um, really been struggling to get much scoring done. And that could be because we got rid of our best uh, goal scorer. But I think a lot of the factors have been definitely the change of formation. We've already had, Erickson's already been tweaking the formation this twice in the early part of this campaign. So hopefully we get an opportunity to just kind of run with what we have for now. But in the meantime, let's go to the game board and see what we have to do for the next match. Three, two, one, go. We get a two. So that puts us at a free agent. So we'll need to see if we can put a bid on a free agent player. A few slim pickings here and there, but we're gonna take a stab at here as a Naro here, free agent, 20 years old. Plays that whole player role and as a team player. Here's what our lineup looks like going up against Venezia. We've got Daffrey starting in net. We've got uh, Jaro Zinski and Vavaro, the center backs. We've got Filicoli and Medolo, the fullbacks. The defensive midfielders will be Salah and Lapure. Uh, Andu's going to hold down the attacking midfield role with Amaru and Zuccolini, and Longo is going to be the center forward up top. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to a very cloudy day here at the Sierra of Utrego as Ben Veneto play host to Venezia here in our featured matchup of this episode. Uh, both teams are on a bit of a poor run of the season. We're neck and neck in the table, both 15th place at the start of the campaign. Remember last year, Ben Veneto was one of the uh, top teams that didn't make it through. And both teams seem to be sliding a little bit going on here this early campaign. Of course, Ben Veneto have the former Venezia manager in Zagni. As there's a little bit of a rivalry developing between these two squads. Can Erickson's side get past their goal scoring woes in this one? It. Oh no, it's off the post. Rebound goes in. And that is unlucky there. Ben Veneta score there. It's Mancini there. And mm -hmm. I don't think Erickson's got the right formation in place here. We just seem to be very, really passive here. And we just cannot seem to generate much in the way of attack and it's really hurting us when we make a mistake and Ben Veneto pounces and takes the lead here late in the first half. You see the header was good, Andu, yeah that's all on him, he tried to take a cute touch instead of clearing the ball out of danger, the shot goes off the post but the rebound falls kindly to him, Daffrey could do absolutely nothing with it. Once again, the Lions got more questions to answer here as we are struggling at the moment. Attack time is on. Ah. Oh, the shot! And oh, what a goal! And Ben Veneto double their lead here thanks to Sal. And it was a wonderful little goal there. As again, right through the heart of the defense, Ben Veneto goes. And we just failed to capitalize, and it was a sliding sh strike there at the edge of the box. Thought we had it covered defensively, uh, but Daffrey, I don't think, could handle the pace. Off the wall and in. Took a deflection, going to be a corner. Decent effort, faked the wall out. Definitely got a hand to hit to it. And definitely not getting calls here. And Vavro takes down a defender, and he's going to get yellow carded. And 
frustration's definitely building here in Valencia as we just they don't seem to be the, as crisp as we should be at this point of the season. There we go. Just careless mistakes now. Palaversa takes down the man. He's going to get booked as well. For that offense, that was a definite yellow card. It's now uh, Valencia starting to get a little more chippy now since they're not happy with the way this game is panned out. And just swipes the legs of Sal, who's been a menace today. And again, we give another opportunity here to take a shot for Ben Mineta here late in the game. Just, we can't win the ball in the air, we can't take possession, and it's just costing us. Full-time whistle, and another embarrassing show of force here for Valencia, as we could generate absolutely nothing in this one. All right, what can I say? That was a poor performance. We had one shot the whole match. We could not break down the defensively. We just could not get in behind. We could not generate anything. But all up and down, we had a very solid defensive effort. We just let in two goals um, based off mistakes. But, I mean, the stats figures themselves, just not good enough. We're just not good enough at the moment. We're just making too many errors, trying too many crosses. I'm not sure. We're just not being convincing enough on the attack. And Erickson's going to have some questions to answer with. There was much in that uh, highlights to show on this one. Match day four in the books. The table shakes out like this. We fall down to 16th, and rightfully so. Um, our third loss in the league so far. The Again, this team is just cursed to be a very poor defensive team. And this year, the offense doesn't seem to be uh, keeping up. So we could be in for a difficult season if this keeps going. Three, two, one, go. Two, we get a manager's luck. And we get it, get out of the element free card. We already have one, so I don't need to get another one. Here are the highlights between uh, Financia and Frozen One here in our second matchup here. We finally get on the goal scoring sheet thanks to Endu here in the 15th minute with a lovely little touch past the defender and past the keeper as he was charging it down. And uh, puts Venezia up 1-0 here early on. But then in the 79th minute, a corner for Frozen 1. And a lucky deflection finds the back out of that as Tamminelli buries that one home. And uh, it was all level going up further. But 10 minutes later, Andu again strikes again here at the beginning and the end of the match here. Fella Coley finds him into the box lurking on the back post and just delivers a nice chip ball to the roof of the net and gives Venencia the win. And after the fifth match day, Venencia have now leapfrogged up into 12th place with that victory, their second win of the campaign. And Frozen 1 dropped down from, I believe they were in sixth place coming in, dropped down to seventh. Three, two, one, go. It's a three. Two, three, transfer bid. So we can put a bit on another player. Final match of the episode is against Trapini here, and Venencia loses two a nil here. A mistake here in the fourth minute, right off the gate, as Piszczek able to bury it home in the fourth minute, and just a woeful error is there. But it was compounded here just four minutes later, as Trapini playing the long ball here in the eighth minute and Delamonte right up the middle finds a space on the through ball he buries it home and that was enough for Trapini there as Venencia couldn't mount a any challenge in this one. Just a six in the books to ramp up this episode the table shakes out like this Venencia is uh, down once again there they lose uh, Two wins, four losses now on the campaign, and our goal differential is horrendous, negative five. Not the worst in the league, but we have the second worst defense in all of Serie B. And our offense isn't, it's been very streaky. And look at Trapani, they jump all the way up to second. Time to ramp up the episode, and we'll show you this month of September here as we played three matches in this episode. Obviously the two from the... Um, Copa Italia, again, just 
where's the offense been? It's the question. We've only scored uh, three goal or no? Let's see. Two goals. We scored two twice, and it was just in the Frozen One match. Um, don't know what is really going on with this side. We just seem to be taking a step back. It's time to wrap up the episode now, and can't wait to put September behind us. This was a terrible, terrible month. We only had one good match the whole season, and then led to either mistakes or just getting completely dominated in the feature matchup, but uh, we're not where we need to be Venencia right now, and I'm not sure where the problem lies. Maybe we brought in too many new players and didn't keep enough of the core, but then again, you know, there was deals that were too good to pass up. I don't know if right now we're a very streaky team it looks like we will have some games where we're going to be absolutely on fire but then there's going to be some where we just absolutely just cannot generate anything so it's just a matter of getting everybody in on the same page tactically and maybe that will help but until next time folks i hope you enjoyed this episode despite um our poor run of luck continuing with this club we gotta have to find some way to turn it around but anyways, uh, take care, and I will see you guys next time.